is up you guys my name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I'm gonna to be talking about cryptocurrency and why I don't invest in it I'm gonna be giving you guys a breakdown on my thought process with cryptocurrency my thoughts on the future of cryptocurrency and why I don't invest in it and why I don't talk about it on this channel so let's get started cryptocurrency has been a topic that has been talked about on and off a lot over the last 10 years. I remember whenever I first heard about cryptocurrency and I was super skeptical about the future of it, but I was of course curious of it and I've really been following it ever since. And I feel like every few years we hear a ton of people talking about it because Bitcoin specifically hits an all time high. The most recent time this happened was a few years ago when it hit $20,000 and then really recently within the last couple of weeks, it happened again when Bitcoin crossed $40,000. Now, every single time Bitcoin hits a new all-time high, I always tell myself, this is gonna go down, this is gonna crash, there's no way it can stay this high. And then inevitably, like clockwork, it does dip down exactly how I predict, but then it of course skyrockets once again to a new all-time high. And even though it has a fairly consistent track record of following this exact same pattern, I still cannot bring myself to invest into it. And there is one big reason for that, and that is, I don't understand what the heck cryptocurrency is. Now call me stupid, call me naive, call me stubborn and in my own ways. I just do not understand cryptocurrency. I don't understand the value of it. And I quite frankly do not see a huge future of cryptocurrency, at least not on a main stage platform. Now I know and I understand that this is a closed minded point of view on cryptocurrency and that there are a lot of people who are much smarter than me that really disagree with that thought process. And these people believe that it's not a matter of if, but it is simply a matter of when cryptocurrency takes over as the main form of currency around the world. But honestly, I just don't see it. One of the main reasons why I don't invest in cryptocurrency is because of the fact that the value of cryptocurrency is almost directly associated with how enthusiastic people are about it. Now, in regard to just currency in general, where currency gets its value is from the scarcity and the demand of the currency. The more that somebody needs something, the more that value of the item goes up. And Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is no different. But that means that right now, with this huge spike that we've been seeing, we've been seeing that go up almost because of the fact that it's been hyped like crazy. So that means if we have enough people who are talking about Bitcoin, enough people getting excited about Bitcoin, that will inadvertently cause Bitcoin to go up, thus increasing its value. And really it did this by nothing more than just getting people amped about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in general. This is a process that I am not confident in, and I certainly am not confident enough to put any of my own money in this process of valuation. The other thing I don't like about Bitcoin and determining whether or not this is a good investment is the fact that you have absolutely no control of how this investment is really analyzed. In my opinion, I think it is very close to gambling. And the reason is, is that whenever you go into a stock, you can look into the history of the company. You can look into earning insights. You can look into see historically how the company is done. You can look and see what the company has planned for the next few years to determine whether or not you'll decide if the stock will go up or go down. There is a lot of research behind it. And I'm a firm believer that investing in the stock market is not gambling, it is investing. But I think that similarly to day trading, which I do believe is gambling, I think cryptocurrency is very, very similar. There is nothing to decipher, to determine, or to analyze about cryptocurrency that would allow you to be able to accurately guess how it's gonna perform in the coming year. There is no earnings reports, there is no company insights, there is no sales records or anything like that to determine whether or not a cryptocurrency is gonna go up or going to go down. And because of that, you are purely basing it off of the theory that it could in the future take over as a form of currency, which quite honestly, I just don't see happening. The third reason why I don't invest in cryptocurrency is because of the fact that I have absolutely no control over it. And this is with a similar process as to what I said earlier, where you can't really do any sort of research to determine if it's gonna go up or gonna go down, and thus you're really out of control. I like investments that I can control, and that's why for a long time I didn't even invest in the stock market, I just invested in my own projects and in my own income streams. And it wasn't until recently that I got comfortable with my own income level that I felt like putting a good amount of money into the stock market. In fact, I just recently did a video on this, and if you guys are interested in checking it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. I will also leave a link above as well. 
But it wasn't until recently that I felt comfortable enough with my income level, with my assets, and with my businesses that I wanted to put money into the market. And up until that point, I only invested in projects that I had control over, projects that I knew that I could use in order to increase my revenue. And I really feel as though cryptocurrency is the exact opposite of this. I don't have any control over cryptocurrency. I don't have any control if whether it goes up or goes down. And at least in the stock market, I can do research and count on the fact that I'll do good enough research to determine if a stock is a good enough investment. But this exact same due diligence just simply does not exist in the world of crypto. And because of that, I just don't see it being a good investment, not a long-term investment or a short-term investment. And lastly, I am a firm believer that cryptocurrency is in a bubble. Now, I remember I once heard a quote from a famous entrepreneur, I cannot remember who it was, and I couldn't find the quote online, but his comment was something along the lines of, if people are talking about something and these people wouldn't traditionally be talking about it or have any sort of interest in it, that is an indicator that the asset or the investment is in a bubble. For example, we've seen this a lot over the last few years with the stock market. The stock market was going up and up and up, and there was a lot of interest in investing in the stock market from people who wouldn't traditionally be invested. For example, maybe our grandparents or our cousins that have never expressed any sort of interest in business or investing. If you see that there are a lot of people expressing interest in a product that they wouldn't have traditionally had any interest in, then that is a good sign that we are in a bubble. I mean, we're seeing this exact same thing with cryptocurrency today. I mean, there are so many different people, so many people around the world expressing serious interest and in investing in cryptocurrency purely because of the FOMO aspect of it, the fear of missing out of it. And once people are investing in something because of FOMO, rather than because it's a legitimate investment, that is a big, big red flag. And in my opinion, I think that this is the biggest red flag with cryptocurrency and with Bitcoin specifically right now, is I can't help but ask myself how much of these gains are from FOMO rather than because of a legitimate reason for these gains to go. I mean, I think it's a legitimate and really serious question that needs to be asked is how much of this value of Bitcoin, how much of that is from FOMO, fear missing out, rather than from the actual credible reasons for this value to go up. And I think definitely a huge reason for the increase in valuation is because of that FOMO aspect, because people are jumping in because they don't wanna miss out on the potential gains that they could have had if they invested in earlier, and they wanna make sure to get in before it's too late. But the problem is, I think that it might possibly have already been too late. And if it's not too late now, I think that the point of no return will come sooner than later. Ultimately, you guys, these are my thoughts on cryptocurrency. You could definitely call me a skeptic. You could even call me a bit cynical on cryptocurrency as a whole, but this is my honest thoughts. I just don't understand cryptocurrency enough to invest in it. I don't feel super confident on cryptocurrency for the near future, maybe 10, 20, 30 years down the line, it would be something that is mainstream, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. I certainly don't see it happening in my parents' lifetime. Maybe once I'm 70 or 80 years old, this will be the norm, but I just am not super confident in crypto cryptocurrency and the widespread adoption of cryptocurrency. And because of that, I definitely don't think it's an investment for me. Though I have to admit, it is something that I've expressed interest in over the last few months with Bitcoin just absolutely going through the roof. With that being said, you guys, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and whether or not you invest in cryptocurrency. And if you do, I would love to hear your thoughts as to why you see it as a good investment. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.